Oregon communities desperate to see more police may get their wish granted sooner. New at 6, K2, a K2 investigation found an Oregon agency has a plan to get a lot more officers on streets statewide by early next spring. It addresses a month's long wait to start the state's police training academy. Thanks for joining us for K2 News at 6. I'm Deborah Nath. And I'm Steve Dunn, K2 investigator Wright Gasaway is live in St. John's right now. And Wright, the small business community there wants to see more police officers on the streets. They certainly do. They say they deal with the same issues plaguing much of Portland. Vandalism, constant theft, people threatening them or their customers. We found the state has a plan to get hundreds more new officers on the streets across Oregon. These officers are halfway through the state's 16-week basic academy. State law requires every new officer to go through the same program in Salem. When they're done, they go back to the city or county that hired them to communities like Portland, where staffing numbers are at their lowest point in decades. We have a lot of theft, a lot of shoplifting, and then as well the break-ins at night, and a lot of drug use in St. John's as well. Tanya Hartnett is the St. John's district manager for Venture Portland. She believes the lack of police officers driving around contributes to the issues they see. Why is it so important to you that there are more police officers in St. John's? like say for the presence, to make sure that people see that if there's a police right there that they can't just take, uh, you know, and start ripping off people or they can't act erratically or they can't harm citizens. Portland leaders are trying to add to the city's force. The police bureau has brought on 38 new officers this year. As of last week, 43 officers are either in the state's basic academy or set to start by December. Today, there's a four month wait to start that program. How important is it to you that the state get this training issue figured out? I would say it's the most important thing, absolutely. And everybody here recognizes that this is our duty, it's our responsibility to the state that, that we get these folks trained. Dr. Um, Stacy Utsi is the training director at the Department of Public Safety Standards and Training. We traveled to Salem to see how she's helping the agency address the training backlog. State lawmakers approved the money to cover the changes in June. Starting in November, three academies will grow from the standard 40-person class to 60 people. The agency also added a new 40-person class. That means 100 additional officers will go through training in a six-month period, compared to the number the state would ordinarily train, about 160 new officers. And the impact is that these are officers who can go back to communities more quickly. Absolutely. Our communities are in desperate need. Our agencies are in need. Uh, they, they need these officers to get through here, get their training, um, and be able to get back on the streets. Utsi says the agency should have all the trainers in place by mid-October. If the 60-person classes work, the agency's training capacity could grow even more in the future. Do you think Oregonians should be optimistic in what's happening here? I think they should. Uh, we've worked really hard to make sure that we are going to be able to meet this need. A need felt in communities just like this one in North Portland. You just want to see them out driving around, walking around, just being in the community? Yes, absolutely. Some more numbers here on the Portland Police Bureau. The agency says so far this year more than 760 people have applied for an officer position. Right now there are still 78 vacancies. 39 officers have retired or resigned so far this year. Once again, that expanded training academy, the first one, starts in November. We're live in St. John's, right, Gazaway, K2 News. Right, <clears throat> thank you. And if you have a story for Wright, we have an email for you to uh, contact him. It's k2investigates at katu.com, or you can leave a voicemail at 503-231-4205.